Hello and welcome to the new look, high speed, high risk. Who wants to be a millionaire? Life-changing sums are now won or lost against the relentless ticking of our big, bad, evil clock. If our contestants hang on in there, though, and reach £50,000, they earn a brand new lifeline and they have all the time they need to get to the million pound mark. Someone who's already well on her way back again from last time is Kate Brown from Chester Street in County Durham. I'm going to go with Albania. Final answer. Not Romania, which the majority of this audience thought. The yeah. largest percentage of the audience thought, anyway. And you kind of thought it was. Romania? Yeah, I wasn't sure. <laughs> you just want £75,000! <laughs> oh, Kate Brown, I can kiss you! How are you feeling? Oh, calmer now. <laughs> well, you were a bit of a bag of nerves last time. Yes, yes. What's your plan? What's your strategy? Um, if I don't 100% know it, I'm just taking the money. Get out of here like a <laughs> screaming bunny with 75 grand. I've been told that's, <laughs> that's the strategy. No, I'm, I'm not going to take any chances. OK, well, let's see what happens. When the klaxon called time at the end of the last show, Kate had already soared to £75,000, but it had cost her all her lifelines. Can she go any further? Will she want to go any further? We're about to find out. Kate, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Right. This is question number nine. Have a look. Tell me what you want to do. What is the meaning of Algarve, the name of the Portuguese tourist region? Sun Coast. Big Sea. The West. Sandy Shore. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> um, I thought maybe one of the options might mean something to me, you know, part of the word or Algarve. One yeah. of those is worth £150,000. I wish I knew, but I just... I don't. I haven't got a clue. See if you'd kept your lifelines. I know. <laughs> um, no. I'd, you know, maybe Sandy Shaw, but to be honest, I'm going to take the money. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> it's you not, say it like it's, that. It's not, it's not bad. No, it's oh, not. I'll um, take £75,000. <laughs> I'm almost glad that I don't have an inkling so because I might have been more tempted. Did your mother but... get at you? Before you came back, <laughs> I bet she did. She did have a word in my ear. <laughs> if you don't know it, don't even think. <laughs> she did, but I, I really haven't got a clue. So I am going to take the money. Are you? Final answer. Please. Okay, give her a big hand. Audience, you've hardly had a chance to meet her. She is one lovely lady. She goes away with seventy-five thousand pounds. Now, here you can take it now. Thank you. Um, just supposing, you know, it had been at <laughs> 500 quid, what, what would you have done? I probably would have gone Sandy Shore. <gasps> <laughs> if you'd said that, you'd have just lost £25,000. <laughs> the right answer is the West. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, give her a big hand. She's a great girl. She goes away with 75 grand. Yes, you done. Lots of love to your family and a happy mum. Thank you. £75,000! Well, you know, I mean, so, Kate Brown skips happily off into the night and possibly to Canada with her well earned 75 grand. So, it's time to meet our next contestant. We're back against the big bad clock again from Bristol. It's Elvin Philemon. <laughs> Mr. Philemon, how are you, my man? <laughs> right, this is professional musician Elvin Philemon, writes jingles for a commercial radio station and helps up and coming singers and songwriters. Elvin says his dream job would be to become a record producer or the next Simon Cowell. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> his uh, head cheerleader this evening is cousin Sylvia 
who insisted on being with him when she heard he'd made it on the show and there might be a few quid in it. <laughs> OK, right, just 12 questions answered correctly is still all it takes to win £1 million tax-free, but all the first seven answers up to £50,000 are against the wicked ticking clock. After 50 grand, contestants can breathe a big sigh of relief and take as long as they need to answer. As always, there's 50-50, let's phone a friend and ask the audience. And now there's a brand new lifeline switch, but only if you get to £50,000. So the first two questions, Elvin only has 15 seconds to answer, so he has to keep his wits about him. All right, matey. Elvin, lots of luck. Let's play brand new Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You ready for this? Just about. Just about. Right. First question is for £500. I will read the question. As soon as the four options come up, the clock will start. You only have 15 seconds to give me your final answer. OK? Lots of luck. Here we go. Question number one is for 500 quid. If an item is said to have fallen off the back of a lorry, it means it's what? Here they come. Old, stolen, broken, lost. Stolen final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> all right, so far, Elvin, it's the last point at which you could go home with nothing. I have to warn you of that. I'm sure it won't happen. You've got all three lifelines. Question number two again. You'll have 15 seconds to give me your final answer. And the clock will start as soon as all four options come up. Here's the question. The brothers John and Edward Grimes are known by what name? Start the clock. Jed Grimm, E. John, Jed Wood, J. Ed. Jed Wood, final answer. It's the right answer, you've got £1,000. <laughs> Worryingly for a second there, Elvin. Elvin's on £1,000, he has all three lifelines guaranteed, and he'll have 30 seconds for each right answer when we start again after the break. Don't go away.